All right, what's up? Vaughn Edmead here again. Now, you see the question here, what is your net? Really what I'm talking about is some of us want blessings, but you need something to capture the blessings with, right? And I want to paint the picture that I'm talking about with you through a story. So listen up. So, and listen, even if you're not religious, just pay attention to the story, okay? Because I'm, I'm trying to get some good information that I think will be valuable to y'all. So in the Bible, there's a story of when Jesus is going and he's, all of a sudden he shows up on the shore. Peter, who's one of Jesus' disciples, right, is fishing all over the place. And he's fishing and Peter's profession is fishing. And he fishes as his, um, that's his career, so to speak. But he's not catching anything. All right. Now, Jesus is not a fisher. As, as a matter of fact, Jesus is a, carp a carpenter. So Jesus gives him some advice and Peter's like, yo, kind of Peter's attitude is like, well, I kind of know how to do what I'm doing, you know, but he says, I'll listen to you. So Jesus told him, listen, cast your net on the other side. Cast for those who might be younger to cast means to throw, throw your net over onto the other side. So Peter decides to throw the net on the other side, which of course the other end that he was, he wasn't fishing on that side, but he throws his net on the other side. And when he brings, tries to pu pull the net up, it says that the, f the, the amount of fish in there was so great that the net was beginning to break. All right? The net, watch this, pay attention. The net was beginning to break. And he even had to call over some of his homeboys who were fellow disciples to come and help him in order to gather up the fish there. So watch this. Pay, pay attention to this. The, in this story, the fish are the blessing, right? And so a lot of people are praying for, praying for blessings from God or what have you, okay? Um, and a lot of people are looking for blessings. Some people aren't praying at all, but they're hoping for blessings at least, right? All of us are hoping to be blessed in some way. But the question is this. Even if the blessing should come, do you have anything to, ca to catch the blessing with, right? Because watch this. The blessing came. At least Peter, at least Peter had... A, um, <clears throat> had a net to catch the blessing with, right? And watch this. It, it, it's so amazing because the blessing was so great that it required more than one person to, in order to be able to handle it, right? And imagine if you could be blessed to the point where, where your, your net, the thing that you're going to catch the blessing with, can't even handle the amount of blessing that God wants to give to you, right? But, but, but this is what I want you to understand. In today's society, sometimes we devalue, and I've done this, I've, truthfully, I've done this often, right? And sometimes we look and try to find our purpose. And your purpose does not necessarily mean that you're going to find a career that specifically, like, is spelt out, this is your purpose, right? You might be in a career that you feel like has nothing to do with your purpose, but you might be there learning some things that will help you with your purpose, right? But the question is this, you know, what, what can you catch the blessing with? And I think that it's important that you really begin to understand. Some of you guys have maybe been praying for a, you know, for God to provide you with income or with a certain amount of uh, uh, money on a consistent basis. And you may not realize that a job might come to you. It might not really be your ideal job, but it might be the only one that you can get at the moment. But it's something to, that you can at least catch the blessing, the financial blessing that God might be trying to get to you with, right? So, so, so what are some other things? So that's why it's important to figure out, okay, wh what career do I need to do, go into? And based on the blessing that God is trying to give me, can, does this career, can this career even handle the blessing that God is trying to give me? Right. Um, when we think about entrepreneurship, that's another way that you might. And, and the reason why I'm talking about this stuff is because sometimes you don't look at these things as important. Right. But imagine if I get a retail job, an entry level retail job, there's but so much I'm going to get as far as the blessing, because the retail jobs in our society just don't. They're not a big enough net to capture a larger uh, a blessing, a larger amount of fish, so to speak. So then what do you need to do in order to catch, capture a larger amount of blessing? Well, you might need to update your skills. You might, you might be praying for God to send you a financial blessing. I'm just using finances because it's the easiest one to, to really discuss, right? 
But you might be asking for God for a financial blessing, but is your net ready for a financial blessing? And, and, and how do you get a, big, a bigger, better net? Well, you might need to train different. It's one thing to train catching one fish at a time and going like this, right? Casting out your, um, your line and then rolling it in. It's another thing to be fishing large scale and say, okay, boom, I've, I've stepped it up a notch. And what I've done is now I have nets so that I can capture a bunch. And some of y'all might want God to bless y'all with a million dollars, but you are not taking the time to educate yourself, to elevate yourself, to be able to enter into a career or begin a business or a brand that will be able to handle him giving you a million dollars. Because watch this. If you never take the time to elevate, you know, to, 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 to educate yourself, to, um, you know, he can't promote the amount of blessings that he gives you. Why? Because watch this. Peter's nets almost broke. And if his net had broken, then he would have been out. Like the blessing would have escaped him. Right. But watch this. Before it says even that or it talks in the Bible about the fact that they mend their nets. Right. So it's important to mend your net. So mending your net might look like, OK, do I need to do a better job at the job that I'm doing so that I can get an increase? Or do I need to um, do I need to 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 go back to school and get more education so I can get into a completely different position that will allow me to get uh, uh, you know, more blessings um, in a relationship? It might be, do I need to study relationships more so that I can increase my game so that now my net is bigger? I can I can hold and contain a bigger, larger blessing now. Maybe you haven't gotten the woman that you're, you've been looking for because, you know, your net can't handle that as yet. Right. Or, or it, 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 for some of us, our nets, might, maybe you've been through a divorce or what have you. Maybe you thought you could handle something, but your net broke. Right. Maybe you haven't gotten the young the man that you want as yet because, yo, your, your net can't handle it as yet. And so how's God going to even bring it to you if your net can't handle it? So 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 what is your net? What can your net handle right now? OK. Um, and do you need to be mending your net? All right. Do you need other people like Peter needed to come in and help you? And I pray that one day we all get to the point where where we have nets that can hold a whole lot. And even though our nets can hold a whole lot, the blessing that's beginning to come in is so overwhelming that we have no choice but to come and call other people to come in and join in with us to be able to handle the blessing. I can't wait for the day when the blessing that I receive and I do, what I so watch this. Right. The blessing that I have been receiving is at least blessing in word blessing in terms of thought and so what i'm doing is as i'm overflowing with thoughts i'm giving and sharing that with you why because now i need more of us to be able to handle that blessing together right and i hope that this has been a blessing to you so this is going again right we're going to keep getting it in as often as possible and we're all going to elevate together so peace out <laughs>